Hey. Good morning. Good morning. It's uh, time for another restaurant spotlight. We haven't done a breakfast no, we haven't. restaurant spotlight. We don't do a lot of breakfasts. Maybe once or twice a week we go out and have breakfast. And we've heard about this place. We can't remember who told us. Whoever you are, thank you. We're on the canal going towards Soriana. And uh, the name of the place is? Mole Negro. Mole Negro. Negro. Mole, Mole Negro. So uh, we're about halfway there. So another three or four minutes we'll be there and uh, check out uh, this new place. We're excited. It's 9.45 a.m. That's like prime breakfast. Yeah, it's super busy. We're actually standing down the road waiting for someone to leave. <laughs> yeah, Ali asked, and they said maybe 10 minutes, and uh, they'd have a table for us. There's like four tables. Yeah, so, yeah, small yeah. little place, yeah. but it's got to be worth it if they're full. Yeah, exactly. All right, maybe five more minutes, we're going to get our food. We're starving, so <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> Just finished breakfast at Mole Negro, molenegro.com. It's their website. Very good. Excellent. Right? Yeah, it was delicious. Yeah. I got the sandwich uh, de huevo. Okay. So it's just an egg sandwich. Yeah. I had, what, beans on it? Yeah, it had frijoles. It had uh, queso. I think you said manchengo. And it had an egg and bacon. Yeah. A little bit of salad. I said it came with a side salad, yeah. And they recommend, he recommended to us uh, French toast and the chili quiles de mole. And I had the chili quiles de mole. It's a lot of food, delicious. They put on the table some uh, spicy peanut sauce, and that was good. The the waiter's name, Edgar. Edgar. Right? He might be the owner. Yeah, he may be. Yeah, really friendly, happy. He had three guys back there working in the kitchen. Very busy there. there four tables, as we I mentioned before. Like 9.45, and we probably waited 30, 40 minutes before we could get on a table. That's on us. Right now, sure. yeah, and see why if it's a good restaurant for breakfast, you need to be there like before 9 a.m. or probably after like 10.30. Yeah, it started slowing down. Yeah, 10.30 would have been a good time to show up. Yeah, which is basically about the time we got served. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah, I mean the food was good. Everything was uh, priced, you know, probably hundred to two hundred pesos. Yeah. You also got the cafe, the cafe de Oya. Mexican coffee. Just that Mex, yeah, you know, really good. Mm -hmm. Finished that off. You went to the bathroom. I did not. So how was the bathroom? The bathroom, yeah. Um, bathrooms are nice. They clean. Just a small little bathroom in the back. You'd be amazed because this. I mean, this is a tiny little area. They've got a kitchen in there, but yeah, they've got everything in there. It's a cute little place. They're open from 8 a.m. to noon every day except for Thursdays. Yep. They're closed. And uh, who, who recommended this place again? It was Dean and Michael. Thank you, Dean and Michael. Yes. That's pretty positive of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Dean and Michael, appreciate it. Anything else about this place? Also, he rents. Does he do lessons or just rent out? I think out he does lessons. Boards? Yeah. So he does lessons for um, surfing. And he has longboard, surfboards, and kayaks. There you go. So yeah, it's right here on this canal going towards Soriana. Before you get to Soriana, it'll be off on the right side. There was uh, it's Sunday morning. Church. Yeah, so the church was going full full on that iglesia. Uh, so yeah, so good uh, good time. We'll be back soon, I'm sure. That's it, right? Yep, that's it. All right, thanks guys. That's it. Adios. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe.